quick fun recap. We know in heart failure, beta blockers block the compensatory mechanism of the sympathetic nervous system activation and the resulting neurohormonal activation of myocytes. Good, great, we remember that video. We know also that target dosing of beta blockers is an evidence-based approach. We see the most long-term benefit when we do titrate those beta blockers. So from a topolol succinate, just as an example, that target dose is about 200 milligrams a day. And I know you're thinking, you never see patients on that high of a metoprolol dose. Let's go back for a second. We know that cardiac output equals stroke volume times heart rate. This means when a patient first begins beta, beta blocker therapy, that heart rate goes down. This is the goal for long-term benefit. But as heart rate goes down, so does cardiac output. And so this is why your patient feels as terrible as they do. There's a few things that we can do though to minimize this. Number one, start low. We don't want to initiate a beta blocker at too high of a dose. So metoprolol, you're talking 12.5 or 25 milligrams a day to minimize the fatigue, the dizziness, and the heart rate reductions. Especially in classes three and four heart failure, it doesn't come as 25, you're definitely gonna need to cut that puppy in half. Go slow, do not increase or decrease the beta blocker dosing more often than every one or two weeks. Newest guidelines actually suggest two weeks and some experts even follow a Q4 week approach. If we titrate too fast or taper too fast, you can have Brady, your patient can go tachycardic, you can have ischemias, etc. You also want to avoid titration if the heart rate is less than 55 or if the patient is showing signs and symptoms of decompensation or if they just can't tolerate it right now. Number four, we want to start or titrate one agent at a time. If you have a new onset HEFREF patient or a patient with really advanced heart failure, fatigue and overall tolerability can be a lot more challenging if both an ACE and a beta blocker are being titrated, one at a time. Check fluid status and diuretic adherence. If your patient is fluid overloaded and we add a beta blocker or titrate a dose when that patient is congested or wet, it's gonna be poorly tolerated. We want them dry, without fluid overload, and without congestion. So check that diuretic adherence as well. That's your Reinhardt's Rundown. Go to mobilehealthconsultants.com. Make sure you subscribe to get our next video.